Do you want to be in the know about what Microsoft has planned for the Teams Rooms platform? Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Mo Mondays. In this week's episode, I am going to spend a bit of time about talking about Microsoft's roadmap items. Uh, and when we're talking about roadmap, we're talking about uh, roadmap on the Teams Rooms platform. Now, uh, pretty much in every single Microsoft call I've been on uh, and have joined, everybody always asks this when is this feature coming? Are we planning anything in the very near future? Uh, and, and you know, for colleagues like Ilya and, and Michelle and Rock Olson and Jimmy, you know, that is probably the number one question that they get asked all the time about when is this feature coming? When is that feature coming, etc. <coughs> now, if you don't know, Microsoft actually uh, publish a roadmap um, for public use. Um, so there are different levels of kind of roadmap items made available. So there is a more private roadmap, which has more of a, a, a longer term kind of view in terms of what Microsoft is bringing to the Teams Rooms platform. Uh, you do have to have an NDA signed for those customers that do have NDA signed uh, with Microsoft or partners that have NDA signed with Microsoft, reach out to your Microsoft account manager and they'll be able to kind of give you the longer term view in terms of what's coming uh, on the roadmap for the Teams Rooms platform. Um, but for, for most of us, for most of our customers, did you know Microsoft actually already has a public roadmap that shows what is coming over the next few months? It's about a six month forecast or six month kind of roadmap. Uh, and it's really easy to get to and it's published online for customer use for public use etc uh, simply head over to the link down below so it's microsoft.com forward slash microsoft dash 365 dash uh, or forward slash uh, roadmap uh, and as soon as you uh, click on that you will be given this screen across here now this is the M365 roadmap. So this actually covers pretty much everything across the whole M365 portfolio. But for those of us uh, in the AV industry that are really interested in looking at um, the roadmap for Teams rooms, uh, we do need to do a bit of tinkering on this uh, portal across here. So you can see, obviously, this search for a specific item. We'll do that one in a second. Uh, you can filter from, from product in terms of, you know, if you are one of those partners or customers that has different M365 uh, kind of products, uh, you're able to find line into, you know, let's see what's coming out for PowerPoint. Let's see what's coming out for stream, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the release phase is here as well. So anything that's in preview or general availability or targeted releases etc uh, you can filter by platform so android desktop ios etc teams and service devices of course that's quite an interesting one uh, if you are a uh, government customer you have the option of also um, kind of selecting um, uh, the cloud instance whether you're dod or gcc etc uh, and then of course things that are newly added uh, and whatnot come here as well but for those of us in the AV world that are looking for Teams Room specifically, uh, really, really easy. Just do a quick search for Teams Room uh, or Teams Rooms, uh, hit the enter button, and then that will actually filter down to pretty much everything Microsoft has planned for the roadmap over the coming months. So you'll see across here, things are updated up until March 2024. So it's about a six month roadmap. And, you know, there are some uh, little icons that you'll see across here when things are planned, when things are being tested, and when, th when things are in general uh, kind of availability or deployment. So as an example, you know, from here, we can see a good few things uh, that are coming across. Um, let's say, for example, this first one across the top here. If I open it up, it will show a feature Feature ID, it will show when it was added to the roadmap, when it was last modified, what products it affects, uh, cloud instances, etc. And then more importantly, what the release phase is, you know, if it's general avail availability, etc., or for a limited audience. Uh, so the rollout on this one is going to be starting December 2024. Uh, and it's a good one. It's one that actually I spoke to a customer about a couple of days ago on a, on an event that, were, that I was on. They were worried about kind of security, uh, about um, what if, um, you know, you've got a Teams Rooms device set up and somebody can just walk into a room, someone that's not actually invited to that meeting and just hit that join button. Now, the join button, of course, is designed to make things easy, right? Designed to make things easy in terms of you walking into a meeting room space, hitting that join button and bam, you're inside of a meeting room space. However, in some instances, especially in those secure environments, uh, customers are worried that what if some random person walks into a room and just hits that join button? You can't tell who's actually 
part of that meeting because it just shows the route. Um, so for this, what Microsoft is now doing is bringing up meeting ID and passcode. Uh, so you need to enter the passcode in order for you to join that meeting. So hopefully that kind of negates uh, that issue uh, that people uh, are seeing currently. Uh, some There's some pretty good ones that are uh, coming up across here. Uh, so for example, you know, with live events, uh, not live events, sorry, with um, breakout rooms, um, you now have the ability uh, on Teams Rooms and Windows to be added into a breakout room and then moved in and out of them. So again, you know, that's a bit more longer term. That's kind of March 2024 across here. Uh, some new calendar views are coming on Android. So if you are lucky enough to have a Teams panel on the outside of your room, you'll notice that calendar look and feel looks slightly different compared to MTR and Android inside of a room. We're gonna, Microsoft's going to kind of match them both up with the color codes on the side and give you uh, more of an outlook so you can see the next day as well on there. Uh, so that's coming again in December. December seems, uh, seems to be a very, very exciting month. There's a whole bunch of stuff coming across. Um, improved view switcher on front of room display controls for Teams Rooms and Android. We know Android is on the increase. Loads of people love Teams Rooms and Android. So uh, a lot of development uh, from the engineering teams is really going into kind of the Android platform. And we're going to see some good things coming across here as well. Uh, let's see some some other ones, meeting protection support for Teams Rooms and Android. That's great. Uh, people recognition uh, in a Teams meeting with a desktop client face enrollment process. Uh, so, so effectively, um, just like Intelligent Speaker, uh, I think it was launched last year. With Intelligent Speaker, if you had one of those devices inside of your meeting room space, um, you were able to use Teams on your desktop to kind of go through an enrollment uh, where you'd hit settings, you'd kind of hit the voice recognition button, uh, you read out a, a paragraph and it records your voice uh, on your attendance so that when you're inside of a meeting room space and if you have an intelligent speaker from EPOS, from Sennheiser as an example, uh, it would be able to recognize your voice and then attach like identity to it. Um, Microsoft's now bringing people recognition into that as well. So if you have, you know, some of the intelligent cameras from many partners like Yaelink, as an example, uh, who are launching into some, some intelligent cameras, um, it will do the facial recognition piece as well. And it'll be the same type of process that you see uh, on, uh, on uh, voice um, when you're using your team's desktop um, to do the enrollment piece. Uh, IntelliFrame. Uh, so IntelliFrame and people recognition, that's coming across uh, managing Surface Hub through um, uh, as, a, as, a, as a Windows device or Teams Rooms device, that's, that's come in. Uh, let's see what's also very interesting. Management of BYOD, bring your own devices. So I know Crestron launched some BYOD type devices um, in recent months. You know, you're able to kind of manage that via the Pro Portal as well, uh, which is amazing. Uh, front row gallery improvements, you know, that's going to be really good as well. So depending on your display layouts, whether you're using dual displays, um, Teams will now become, or Teams rooms will now become more intelligent. And if you have a dual display uh, and you have like somebody pinned, it will kind of put them onto the one screen and stuff. So those are the things that were shown in some of the concept videos early last year and, and, and kind of this year as well. Uh, it's good to see that they're now starting to roll out. And in fact, it's starting to roll out in November. Um, so that's really good uh, across there as well. One of my personal little favorites is Teams panels being recognized uh, in the Teams Rooms Pro management portal. So currently today, if you are rocking Teams panels on the outside of the room, the only way to manage them and to see like software versions and stuff is to use the Teams Admin Center. Uh, but now uh, Microsoft is bringing um, that into the Pro portal. So again, it's that one pane of glass where you have the ability to view pretty much everything, not just your Teams Rooms devices, but your Teams panels, and Surface Hub, etc. But it's good to see Teams panels uh, is on that roadmap as well. Uh, let's have a look. Um, live events. So live events, you know, joining as an attendee for Teams Rooms on Windows. Um, so that's coming across. And you'll notice there's a bit of a theme going on here. Some of the updates that get pushed out a little quicker tend to be on the Windows platform. Uh, and that's just because it's easy to develop on Windows and on Android, it takes a bit more development. Um, so it takes a bit more time for the engineering team to really kind of put stuff in place. And, you know, if you uh, haven't seen on one of my earlier episodes, I, I, I did a comparison around Android uh, and Windows. It wasn't really a Android versus Windows. It was more of a Android or Windows uh, type of conversation. And if you're one uh, of those that needs to have the latest and greatest update straight away, then Windows is pretty much the way to go, uh, in my in my humble opinion. Uh, again, another really, really good one um, that's coming is this one across here. One-time passcode for simplified setup of Teams Rooms and Windows. A rollout should start in November. 
Um, so coming up very, very soon. Uh, and that's for those of us that are installing Teams Room devices. And instead of having to go through the whole process, you know, putting in language, putting in the the, 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 the kind of time, locality, et cetera, now you'll be able to just enter a code and, you know, with a config file that you've set up uh, previously, it will just fetch down and do the provisioning and, and set you up really, really quickly. Uh, a couple of others that I did want to uh, kind of call out. So Cloud IntelliFrame. Um, so again, I've done a I've done another video about IntelliFrame where um, Teams Rooms is able to identify the types of camera that are connected as part of your room co configuration system. If you are using an intelligent camera or a camera with some AI or intelligence on board, it will effectively allow that camera to be able to push out its greatest features. You know, speaker speaker tracking, group tracking, et cetera, or multiple uh, kind of um, uh, uh, video uh, streams. Uh, but if you're using a camera with no intelligence on board, uh, then Microsoft will do that in the cloud for you. And, and that feature is coming. I've actually seen it uh, coming up in some uh, kind of preview builds as well, where literally inside of a call, uh, when you hit the uh, camera button, you'll have the option to switch on IntelliFrame or switch it off. And if you switch it on, Microsoft will effectively detect the camera and if you're using a non-intelligent camera, will kind of give you that composite view uh, of splitting that screen up into four and, and, and everyone having their own part of the window as well. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, we have Teams Rooms, Managed Services, Bulk Suppression of Rooms Enrolled in Managed Services. Um, this one's going to be useful for Vincent. You'll hear me talk about Vincent uh, all the time because on our demo tenant, He's constantly out and about and he switches the whole thing off. And then we're always getting pinged alerts about things being offline. Uh, this way, we're able to actually suppress all of those um, uh, those insights coming through on all of his devices every time he decides to fly out or go to another country and switch things off. Uh, but there you go, guys. Nice and simple. Microsoft 365 roadmap. Uh, once again, I'm going to kind of pop it up here on, on, on screen for you. It's Microsoft.com forward slash your language, um, forward slash Microsoft 365, forward slash uh, roadmap. Go on to there, you'll see roadmap items for everything up until kind of the next six months of short-term roadmap. It is a public roadmap. Uh, so again, you know, this is public knowledge. You're able to see what's confirmed, what's coming. And if you are one of those customers that needs the longer view uh, and you have an NDA in place, speak to your Microsoft representative. Uh, they will be able to find the right people and talk you through uh, kind of the longer term NDA roadmaps. But for now, um, the next six months is looking great. A lot of updates coming up in, in December. Stop bugging Ilya and Jimmy and Michelle and Rob and uh, the whole Microsoft team about what's coming when. Now you can simply go ahead, hit the Microsoft 365 uh, roadmap uh, link and have a look for yourself. With that in mind, guys, as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on what you would like to see in the next episode of Mo Mondays. For now, ciao.